Hello, I'm Daniel Rogers with Duotech Services, and today what we're going to talk about is antennas, what exactly is going through that that uh, propagates energy and information, and how that relates to things like phased array antennas. Now, when we talk about sending information down an antenna, what does that look like? Whether it's symbology or information, really what that is ha it's happening is we're sending a sinusoid down that antenna. A sinusoid being this sort of sine wave, cosine, Sine, cosine are really just phase shifted versions of each other. If we talk about phase shift, what are we talking about? We're talking about a difference really in time where something comes at one point or the other, where you, you have one or the other, it's represented by this red line, this blue line, this orange line, this blue line here. We are talking about a phase shift. These are all sinusoids. Now, when we talk about frequency, we're talking about how many cycles per second from you know, zero to two pi as we're wrapping the unit circle are we, is happening inside of one second. Often we're, we're used to thinking about things in megahertz or gigahertz. There are antennas that operate down to kilohertz. When we talk about the size of antennas, the higher the frequency, the smaller the antenna. The relationship between how long an antenna is, how close elements are together in arrays has to do with the frequency that those propagations, those signals go out at. If we think about a standard type of antenna, you see one sitting in your car or something like a, a dipole type antenna, we, we're thinking about something that's an element up in space. Now this is a cross section here looking at a radiation pattern of a dipole antenna. And if we turn that into three space, what we're really talking about, rather than something that's perfectly spherical in all directions, is we're talking about the whole Homer Simpson thing. This is the donut in space. If you think about a dipole antenna, it's really a donut radiation pattern in space, which is great for seeing things all around you, but let's say that you want a lot of energy to come back from a very far way away to you. You want to narrow that region of interest, that focus, and bring that energy more closely to you. That's where we get into arrays. We get into the shaping of beams, whether it's a, a leaky waveguide type antenna. We talked in a previous video about waveguides. Now, if we had an in-launch open waveguide, what we would have on that is we would have something that would look kind of like this, and we'd have radiation that would come out and be received into a beam that would be somewhat of a, of a cardioid type pattern, but with these uh, leaves coming off of it, these side lobes coming off of that in-launch. Now, how do we leverage that and get narrower and narrower beams? Like with radar. With radar, we're looking for smaller regions of interest to bring back to, especially with airborne, air search, fire control type applications. Now, you may have heard about radar arrays, antenna arrays, when it comes to that, what exactly are we talking about? Well, what we're doing is we are leveraging the relative distance between elements in order to provide ourselves the ability to steer a beam. Imagine, if you will, that these blocks here are our different antenna elements. Now, we can utilize the relative distance of these elements, and we can provide, as we send energy out, we can form a beam that is coherent, that brings that region of interest, that gain pattern. We may hear about gain and directivity. That's what we're talking about. Now, when it comes to taking that energy and then looking in another direction, we can do a couple of things. We can mechanically steer that antenna and point that beam from where we're at to where we want to go. But what happens if you don't want to move the antenna? Well, you can also provide for that. You can do an electronically scanning of an array. So an electronically scanned array is one that utilizes phase shifts in order to move a beam in a different direction. So if I have a wave front coming out from here and I send one out at one time and another one out at another time, another one out at another time and another one out at a different time, I can shift the phase and move the wave front of that electronically scanned array by simply individually controlling the phase shift for that antenna. Where this comes into practice is this reduces the mechanical complexity whereas you have a mechanically scanned array, and it provides for the shaping of a beam in different ways. Later we'll talk about electronically scanned arrays, the automatic electronically scanned arrays, passively scanned arrays. Mechanically scanned arrays also have a great capability and purpose in that there are fewer things to go wrong insofar as the electronics, but there's more mechanical complexity obviously that goes with that. 
If you have an opportunity, check us out online at duotechservices.com. We have our mechanically scanned airborne radar system called the Delta Radar and our active electronically scanned array radar called the Ares. Thank you for visiting us. Check us out online at Twitter, Facebook, and duotechservices.com.